What's up? Hey. We're a day late. I'm sorry. We uh we had some fun yesterday. We went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It was awesome. I loved it. Very funny. Good jokes. Very funny. Like turd jokes and uh a Mary Poppins joke, just fu funny stuff in there. Um, and then we went out to dinner, and then we just kind of came home and sat around, so... It was after 10, so... Apologize, but uh, we will have a still a random game giveaway in this video, buried in it somewhere. Um, not a garage sale video. Uh, two weeks in a row, Jeremy's had a tooth problem, and he's going to go see the dentist apparently this week and hopefully get it taken care of. But okay. uh, I will show you the few th garage sale things that I did get. This, past, this last weekend in next garage sale video, whenever that'll be, hopefully next weekend. But all of this stuff that I'm going to show you right now came from one pickup um, a few weeks back. There was a few games I showed. It was Death and Return of Superman and Artie Lightfoot on Super Nintendo. I got a really good deal on it from a guy named Brad. He said, if there's anything else that you're interested in, let me know. So I said, well, send me a big list so I can look through your stuff. A lot of stuff on that list. It was a way bigger list and a lot more, like, really hard to find and expensive items. I kind of just made this crazy list. I was like, I want all of that. And I was like, let's see what happens. So we, we actually talked on the phone a few times because there were so many items that we came to a, a really good agreement. And then it kind of got even better afterwards, which I'll explain uh, later on. But basically, um, this is not a 50% value. I won't say that. But definitely somewhere in the, like the, the maybe the 60%, somewhere in that ballpark. So a really good deal. One of the best deals for such a large pickup that, I, that I've had. Usually if I'm buying this much stuff, it's, it's like a lot of money in, in, the, in the sense of like any type of profit or extra value yeah, isn't very much. But th this was. So Brad, you definitely did good. So thank you. Good job. You just got to spend lots of money. <laughs> 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 I need to stop doing it. I need to slow down. Yeah. Um, Wolf Child on the Sega CD. Uh, I barely, actually, before until recently, when I got Final Fight CD, these big box, like cardboard box, uh, uh, Sega CD games. There we go. Um, I didn't never really see, so that was kind of interesting. So I needed this for my collection. I needed the Final Fight also CD for my collection, so that was nice. Um, oh wait, there is. Hold on. There is cat. one. There's a cat. Just gotta make sure there's a cat in the shot. Oh, she was sleeping. That's Otep. Uh, a complete inbox Mario Party. Which one is this, Katie? Uh, one. It is it correct. Was the first one. It is not three. It's not three. It's try to so trick you, bastards. Uh, we have a little stack of Super Nintendo games. A little strategy one made by Koei. So weird. Liberty or death. So... Do you play as presidents? <laughs> well, um. Koei <laughs> we made a lot of strategy games back in the Nintendo and Super Nintendo days. It was so weird. A lot of um. Very in-depth in game. You have to be really into strategy games uh, to really play them back then, for sure. Uh, Kirby's Dream Course, which is essentially putter golf with no club. Uh, but Use the umbrella? You shoot Kirby around a course and you run him into the bad guys. Uh, we got Brain Lord. Final Fight Dose. We're going to not show you every single game, because there are a lot, but Act Razor. So I'm going to go by a little quick. Tecmo Secret of the Stars. And, of course, I'm going to try to tell you at least a few stories. Like this story. So there's not one, but there's two Conker's Bad Fur Days. This one's in really nice shape from the old box collector. Unfortunately, this one got a bit damaged and cracked during shipping. I've already repaired it, but... Uh, and there's one more 64 game, Mario Kart 64. The story with that is uh, UPS. I don't really use UPS to ship stuff, and um, it was the cheaper route, though, for how big this box was. So he's like, is that okay? I'm like, sure, I don't care. You know, that's fine. Whatever makes it, you know, cheaper. Didn't know that their insurance policy was kind of weird, kind of weird, kind of confusing. Um, basically, they wanted, th there was a few games damaged. Like I said, that one, there was like three more. Um, nothing crazy. It was maybe a total of like $100 worth of stuff that got damaged somewhere around there. And uh, their claim was they wanted everything thrown back into the box, so over 100, 100 games. Items yeah. Back into a big box. Packed all back up and handed to them like I received it. And they were going to not just look at it real quick, they wanted to take it away. I was like, what are you going to... You can pick it up. Yeah, what are you going to do with it? And I'm like, they're like, well, we'll replace the items. I'm like, they're retro video games, what are you going to do? And they're like, well, oh... <laughs> uh, well, just put the broken ones back. Don't put all the other ones, you know, all the hundred other games. Just put the broken ones in. I'm like, well, still, what are you going to do? Uh, I don't know. My, my boss will let me know. So we, we are still in the process of figuring that out. I'm supposed to have UPS contact me back, but 
a lot more confusing than uh, the Postal Service for entry. Usually it's just like take pictures and show proof of the value. This one, you know, was a little bit more uh, in depth. There was like a hole in the box and they wanted to see that, I guess, in person. But anyways, Rocket Knight Adventure, Streets of Rage 3, uh, some loose Genesis cards. Some of them have a decent amount of wear, like uh, Ghouls, or, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts has some wear to the label. Castlevania Bloodlines and a TMNT, uh, the Hyperstone Hive. I don't know why I decided to hand it backwards like that, but there we go. And then a few complete in box Genesis games. Let's have Katie try to pronounce these ones. Ready? So here we go. That's that's what it is, guys. What does that say? Truxion. Uh, close enough. Truxton. Truxton. <laughs> uh, that's confusing. This one I honestly might get wrong. What is that one? Sagaya. Eh, close enough. That's what I was saying. Sagia? Uh, Massagia. It's a game about... Massagia? No, I just made that. Okay. It's like, is it a... <laughs> There's S a hidden M. Yeah, the hidden M. Invisible uh, M. Gauntlet 4. And Golden Axe 2. We have a Super Adventure Island 2. Not, not the actual box. It's just a repro box with the cart inside. One thing I do also want to mention... Um, decap Attack. One thing I want to mention is... If there's anything here you see game. that is not Jessica, it was mixed in. She caught me. <laughs> um, if there's anything in here you see that was some of the rare items, not like cheaper Game Boy games or anything, but some of the rare items that you maybe want to do a trade for, I don't sell online. I know I've mentioned that in the past, but let me know. Maybe we can do a trade. I am looking for some oddball stuff like the Hurricanes and Ren and Stimpy Buckaroos on Super Nintendo in good condition. Um, but otherwise, if you're in the state of Florida and you have come to the flea market before and come see me. Um, come visit us. Come visit, because the next, this coming Sunday, and... There'll be some stuff. Good, good stuff out there. Probably the next few Sundays. Obviously, I'll have a lot of this stuff for a while. Um, but I'm going to have rare good stuff at the flea market. So come on down, maybe bring some stuff to trade, or just bring money, either way. <laughs> um, Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance. We got a complete inbox Tom and Jerry, and a complete inbox Chippendale Rescue Rangers. There's not very many, like boxed Nintendo related games most of them are just card only uh, what's next next is the game giveaway because game giveaway! Cause we're like seven minutes into this video I just so, do jazz hands when I do that there we go game go ahead and grab those guys I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to them this time and the drum roll you got your name ready yes so they're gonna drum roll you're gonna box them okay so ready and go the winner of this week's random game uh, on whatever system they want uh, is Cowboy Nation. Cowboy Nation. Congratulations, the nation of cowboys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. The whole nation won. How are yes. you going to send it to the Damn, whole... that's a lot of players. Yeah. Uh, let me know um, in a personal message, either here on YouTube or preferably on the Facebook fan page, and the link to that is in the bell section down below. Let me know your mailing address and what system you want your random game to be on, and I'll have that mailed off into the near future. And sometime. Yeah, sometime in the near the future. future. Um, and there's a game giveaway, of course, right now. right now. Your chance to win a cat instead no. of a game. No, Little. can't get away. Anyway, your chance to win a game on whatever system you want. Um, all you have to do is be subscribed. Thumbs up the video. Yep. And leave a comment down below. Yeah, you scared Oodles away. She's leaving. Aww. Oh, stretch. Uh, comment can be about whatever you want, but since this is a heavy, like, Genesis, or sorry, Sega-related and Nintendo-related pickup. Um, when you were younger, which did you play, like, play more? How did, what are you doing? <laughs> um, when you, when you were growing up, was your household or your family, like, a Nintendo family or a Sega family? And where did you maybe, like, play the other one for the first time? I remember the first time I ever played Sega, because we were, like, a Nintendo household, was at my uncle's house when I was probably, like, 10? Somewhere around there. What were when you were family? Nintendo? My older brother was Sega, so I started out in Sega, but with my younger brother, we did Nintendo, so. Okay. So there's your suggestion. Uh, obviously, you can come up, come about, come about, come about, you can comment about whatever you want, <laughs> and just be subscribed, thumbs up this video, and leave that comment down below. You have until 11.59 Eastern Standard Time uh, this coming Friday to enter, and the winner is always announced in the following pickups video. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We have stacks of Game Boy games. I'm not going to go through every one. You got your Marios and your Donkey Kongs, a Pokemon Kirby's. Silver, Metroid 2, Mario, Joe and Mac, Bubble Bobble, Zeldas. Where's the odd? There's an oddball, the, the t tomatoes. Where's tomatoes? tomatoes. <laughs> Attack of the Killer Attack Tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Kind of a weird one on Game Boy. So a lot of Game Boy games, good titles. 
Okay, pick up boys. something else. Right, game nah, just whatever in front of you. Okay, we'll do this little thing right here. A little stack of turbos. A stack of turbos. We got our type. I don't really pick up turbo stuff very often, so there might be a few people interested in these. Uh, Sinistron. We got Dead Moon. I'm going to say these funny. Superstar Soldier. <laughs> Arrow Blasters. Psychosis and Blazing Lasers. All right. Blazing Lasers. And what's next, Katie? All right, let's, let's do Saturn. Go. Let's keep this train rolling. Saturn. Saturn. Again, another system I don't want to pick up a, pick up a lot of stuff for. And there's some really good Ooh. ones in here. X-Men, Children of the Atom. Mega Man. What is it? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Ocho! There we go. I had to count up. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man. All right, what's this one? Eight. That's quattro. That's uh, X quattro. <laughs> that. Mega Man X quattro. We have Galactic Attack for when the space ships attack. Alien Trilogy. I actually still need this one in my collection because every time I've gotten it, something has been wrong with it. Like the barcode's been cut out or the manual was all gross. Darius Gaiden. Another shooter where you're shooting on fish. Shooting like on fish. Sagaya, like big, like deep alien. sea fish. Alien. alien fish. Alien fish from the deep. Oh, this is the oh, last okay. one. Street Fighter. Alpha 2. Alpha 2. And Sonic CD. That's not a Saturn game. You lied. No. Nope. The last uh, Saturn game, I think. See, I oh, slipped that one in there. You yeah, slipped the. There's Super more Saturn. Game. There's more Saturn <gasps> games. Where? There. They're buried. We'll get to it. Uh, the best Saturn game in there, though, is a Super Minty Complete. Ooh, it's so shiny. Magic Knight Ray Earth from Working Designs. <sighs> so shiny. So I like it. Yeah, it's pretty. Look who's on the front. Where? There he is. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What, Subasa? Like Subasa. There's this little bastard right there is in the anime Subasa. Do you remember what he called? Po I don't remember what they're called. That was a long time ago we watched that. a long that. time ago. Anyway, someone let us know. What is that little guy called in Subasa? Yeah. The anime? There's a black one and a white one. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on. Moving on to whatever these are. Dreamcast. Some are Dreamcast. Some are Turbo. Uh, I was going to say, this is not Dreamcast. Rayman 2. Shinmu. Shinmu 3. Why are you taking so long? Come on out, buddy. Uh, Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure Dose. Uh, we got a no manual uh, Super Magnetic Neo, but it has the original case. Uh, Sword of the Berserk, Guts Rage. Ah! She was just recently playing the new Berserk game yes. that came out on PS4. It's it, it's really fast paced. And it's not <laughs> the horses are really fast. <laughs> if you it's look ridiculous. up online, look up online after you watch this video. The gameplay of, like, Berserk on the PS4 and someone riding around one of the horses. They're, like, on fucking speed. It's ridiculous. It's weird. Uh, I love it. Alien Crush on the Turbo. Bonk's Revenge. And Bonk's Adventure. This is the first game I played. That's the first game Katie ever played was yeah. Bonk's Adventure. Mega Man Legends. The first one. And the second oh, one. There we go. I was like, what is he? Oh, this. It's right here in my hand. Spyro. This one, Spyro. First Spyro, original. Another Mega Man X. This one's four. Wait, yeah, Quattro. Yeah, there's. Yeah. It's on oh. Saturn and PS One. She got confused. I was real confused. <laughs> Lots of Mega Man. Yeah. Mega Man X Five. Yeah. Keep on the Mega Man train. Mega Man Eight. Yeah. What was the number for that one? Remember? Ocho. Yeah. <laughs> I like, know that. Ocho. I didn't have to go. Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. Green Label, Greatest Hits. But hey, still, still good still game. Still good game. Crash. Bandicoot. I think everybody knows that. Uno. Just Vagrant Story. One of my favorite Go RPGs on. on the PS1. I always say that. And Play Crash 2. With, uh, with a lenticular cover. Ooh, look at Crash. All right. Keep going. Oh my gosh. All right. I want to keep this under six Super hours. Super Nintendo's. More Super Nintendo's. We got Super Buster Brothers. War of the Gems. Which is uh, the Marvel beat em ups game. Contra 3. Awesome. More Alien. What Alien? Super Metroid. More Aliens. aliens. Double Dragon. Not aliens. Not aliens. Just punching people in the face. Turtles. More punching people in the face. There's with ninjas. Yeah. Oh, the turtle, Turtles Tournament Fires, which. On the NES, uh, is way more valuable, way more rare. But um, on the NES, it's, it has a very few fighters to choose from. Um, out of can't be picky. There's not really any fighters f uh, besides that, and I'm, I'm drawing a blank. But besides Another that, one. yeah. Another one. Fighters on the <laughs> NES are very, very uncommon. Um, 
But yeah, Turtles Tournament Fighters on the Super Nintendo is better than the one on NES. Magic Sword! What a boring name to a yeah. game! Magic Sword. UN Squadron. Pretty solid shooter there. Super Adventure Island. Uno. Uno. The first one. We already showed the dose. More Super Nintendo games. More Super games. There's, oh there's a gosh. different cat up there now. We swapped cats. We swapped cats. They take turns guarding yes, the house. Uh, Battletoads Double Dragon assembled in Mexico version with the crappier uh, front label, the odd colored back label. If it had the manual, it would be black and white, and the box would be the same. But anyways, <laughs> we got uh, ooh an Atlas title on there. Run Saber. Zombie Day by Neighbor. They did. That's so sad. You know, Thunder Spirit? You're going to give that one a try? Weird. It's written kind of funky on there. What's next? Go, go, Power Rangers! This is the uh, the fighting edition of Power Rangers. Another Joe and... This art is not as cool as the, the Game Boy version. I don't know. I'm not a fan of, like, the color pink, but for some reason, pink on black, I, I can deal with. It just pops. It's yeah. neon. Imperium! <laughs> Imperium! <laughs> Pass it along if you don't know. <laughs> this is a uh, Nintendo. Nintendo. No. <laughs> Mario Kart. Ma Mario Kart. Here's another one. Actually, I didn't even notice this one at first. So that's like five mm. games now. Um, thanks, UPS. This one's cracked. You're not gonna be able to tell all the way down and a little bit onto the front side of the cart too. So that's. That? That's what I'm trying to deal with you with UPS, and they're wanting to take my games away. I'm just like, one more last one. I can I can repair them. I just need you to you know reimburse reimburse for the damage of a little bit. Anyways, um, Spike McFang, top three favorite Super Nintendo games, just in the sense of gameplay uh, and fun battle system. And he's a little vampire guy. <laughs> he's so cute. Anyways, all right. I'm just picking this one up to bring all of the little yeah. ones with it. Again, here's another pile that just leave them on there. Just, just no, go. no. Just Go. Just a bunch of Game Boy Advance games that are good titles. Your Mario's, your hey, Turtles, hey, Mario. Mario, Pokemon, Pokemon Ruby, Final Fantasy, Super Mario 3, okay. Yoshi's Island. Yeah, no, we got the idea. There's a <laughs> Tales of Fantasia. More There's Pokemon. Harvest Moon. Zelda. The cool thing is, is he threw in a few doubles. It was a little, actually, some of them were on purpose. Some of them were like, I didn't know if you wanted one or two. <laughs> because he had multiples of some games. And I didn't notice the number two next to apparently like at least one of them. Uh, and then some of the other ones he just threw in. Like he threw in an extra Mario Kart. He threw in the, the Zelda. So there were some bonuses in there. More Mega Man. There's a Mega Man Zero Three. Metroid. Uh, Metroid Fusion. A fantastic Metroid game on the Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. A couple Donkey Kongs. That was actually a European Donkey Kong. That slipped in there. Hmm. Brad's like, oh, whoops. I didn't, I didn't realize that was from... Pal territory, but Zelda Ice Climber. I do collect Pal games and variants, so I'm just gonna probably hang on to that. Yeah. Uh, Mega Man. Mega Man. Extreme, complete in the box, really nice condition. I don't believe I have the box for that one, so that's another thing I needed for myself. Bonus. Bonus. Metroid. That uh, there's a little story to tell. Back in the day of the channel, <laughs> um, in the game barn, there were like 20 of these sealed. There was a ton of these. Uh, picked up a handful. Um, other people that were there also had picked up. I know Aaron ended up, I think, maybe getting one or two, I believe. Maybe Josh did. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, there was a bunch of those sealed. I think we got them for, like, $10 a piece, maybe at the most, somewhere around there. Yeah. <laughs> Good old days in the game barn. Guess what? Mega, Mega, Mega Man. Man. Now, what is that? What is that word? And base. Okay. It's, yeah. It's Why? Not, well, because it's bass. Oh, bass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the... <laughs> Mega yeah. Man and a fish! <laughs> Castlevania Circle of the Moon complete. Chocobo Racing! Is that like Mario Kart with chocobos? I mean, essentially, yeah. Uh, I actually, I, I never, I can't say I've ever played the Chocobo Racing game. I'm not a big racer fan anyway, and I usually suck at them, so it just wasn't something. I, I like. not a good loser. No, I liked racing chocobos <laughs> on like Final Fantasy VII yeah. and Final Fantasy games. Another Crash 2. 14 not... has a really good Chocobo Racing. Yeah. Option. Uh, this one I think I can clean up. Um, the long box of D, which I, I don't own for myself, has lots of rental stickers. <laughs> they couldn't... I had to put one for, like, each CD, I think. And then the CDs themselves, uh, right around the inner ring, have, like, a little silver thing on them, a little silver sticker. So I'm hopefully going to be able to get that looking really nice. 
Uh, Sonic 3D Blast this is the last Saturn game. Hobo! So, yeah, Whoa, that's a box full of more games! <laughs> so, go ahead and lift that up on your lap. Lift that up. Uh. Then there's, there's this box uh, at the end here. Which, uh, I won't take all the original Nintendo games out. I'll just highlight a few of them. There's a Mega Man 1. That's a title I don't really get too often. Um, there's, you know, like your Battle Toads. Oops, dropped a little sleeve. Castlevania, River City Ransom, Aaron and Ricky from uh, Retro Liberty, uh, Kid Icarus, Punch Out, Gremlins 2, no, super fantastic. I love Gremlins 2 on the NES. But then this side, we do have to take this stuff it's out because it's all super games and there's some super duper super games. So let's let's give this a try. Hey, guess what? Mega Man Soccer. I've never had a copy of this. I've had, a, I've had multiple copies of Mega Man 7, X3, uh, X2, all of them. Never had Mega Man Soccer. So I just wanted to check off the at least touching and getting to... Am I really going to play it? It's soccer. But I actually will oh, give it a kitty try. Battle. There's a cat battle going on kitty over there. Battle. Holy crap. Uh, we got um, Biker Mice from Mars. We have Lemmings. This is another one that was heavily damaged. The entire back was was broken off on the top. Had to replace that. Didn't really replace, replace it with a great looking cart, but at least it's not cracked. Half, yeah. yeah. Uh, Secret of Evermore. Secret, Secret of, of Mana. Mana. Soldiers of the Fortune? Of, Soldiers of Fortune. There you go. Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim 2. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Going, Castlevania. Going. Four. Another Mario Kart. We got Super Bomberman 2. Street Fighter 2. Super Street Fighter Super 2. Super Street Fighter 2. This one's red. Come on, come Doom. on. Doom. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Ghouls and Ghosts. Another Earthworm Gem. Don't worry, guys. There's not like a ton more in here. There's just a lot of really good ones coming up. So anyways, now we are into the, the highlights of this, this whole thing. Besides the good Saturn games... Uh, we have a Batman. Batman and Robin, Adventures of Bat Batman and Robin. Wild a Guns. Wild Guns. Sadly, Wild Guns. If you look in the middle, it's not super obvious until you really stare at it. There's a chunk of the label missing right in the middle. It looks like someone colored it in with pencil at one time. But uh, still, at least the entire label is there and you can read Wild Guns. But they really didn't like the main bad guy. They just scribbled out his face. Hey. What do we got? Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon. Uh, not terrible label. It does have a few nicks and scratches uh, on the front, but not not god awful. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. That one's in really nice shape. Chrono Trigger. That one's in really nice shape. Guess what? Mega Man's. <laughs> Mega Man X two. And Mega Man X three. I've had a. It's like the second or third copy of of X three now this year. Lufia two. Rise of the Sins. Sinistrals. Sinistrals. <laughs> Sinistrals. Ninja Warriors. Not the TV show, the video game. <laughs> Final Fight 3. Not the American Ninja Warriors, the real Japanese mm. Ninja Warriors. Final Fight Trace. What is that one? Earthbound. Oh, Earthbound? I've heard of that one once or twice. And, oh wait, save that one for last. That's, this is another Sunset one. Sunset Riders. Sunset Riders is a classic. D and Demon's Crest. Demon's Crest. And then last but not least. I've played that one. Uh, besides, huh? I've played that one a few times. Oh, okay. I like it. Besides uh, having the one in my collection, again, another game that I've never just come across. Uh, Evo. Which, uh, if you've never played that game or seen anything about this game, uh, you start off as like a simple little fish. It's basically you evolve into different things and you eat other animals. Um, very interesting game. I can't say, and it's not going to be for everyone because you're not, you know... It's a little slow. Yeah, not, not shooting stuff down. But um, interesting game. A really cool cover art, too. I like the cover art of that. So, anyways, guys... Uh, Again, if some of the more high-end items you're interested in for a trade, not stuff like uh, Metroid Fusion on Game Boy Advance, but something like maybe Evo on Super Nintendo, maybe we can work out a deal. Uh, again, I'm looking for some oddball stuff. I can send you a little list. Um, but anyways, uh, if you're in the area, come on down to the flea market on Sundays. Starting this coming Sunday, I'll have a lot of rare items. And don't forget to enter the random game giveaway. Be subscribed, thumbs up the video, leave that comment down below. Always, thank you for watching. We love you. Kitty we love Cat you. says bye. bye. <laughs> Peace. Bye.